Good morning and hello, I'm Professor Gordon, this is the Fork Sip and Water Racing Review and Forks Briefing for Monday the 7th of August 2023. Yesterday we had a test race, uh, for our benefit really. Uh, it was uh, Galway 16.30, half past four, number five Romford, uh, and the test didn't go that well, but uh, we're going to carry on with this uh, approach uh, and uh, and see, obviously one result is, uh, is uh, not, not uh, significant in terms of sample size. But uh, we're on this number five, Romford, which came six at seven to one. Um, we, uh, we were each way, uh, it drifted out after we put it on, but uh, um, we were a pound each way, so 100 each way went on for us. Uh, and we got uh, 3.84 to one uh, for the wind segment and 0.82 uh, for three places. So so if it had won, uh, uh, the win bet would have been uh, £3.84. Uh, and if it had placed in the first three, we'd have uh, lost 36 pence. Uh, and so we had £2 per £8 unit, 0.25 exposure. And the account came down a little bit again to 67.5 units. <coughs> now, excuse me. Um, uh, we uh, we got no way of communicating you with you once once we put the video out there. So if someone wants to uh, to know the next test we're doing, we'll probably do one today. Uh, all you've got to do is uh, uh, send us a message, uh, head it up, just something like test result, uh, and then we can answer that message and give you the information. Because we're not going to have time to do a, a separate video uh, once we know what we're doing later in the day. So so uh, if somebody would. Uh, 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 do that that would be handy uh, just as I said just just do a quick uh, quick message uh, test or whatever and I'll just stick a reply on there with with whatever we're doing uh, if we're doing anything so uh, so that's that um, on the forex trade uh, uh, this is uh, second week of the swing trade uh, day one really uh, we're, we're shorting the dollar yen uh, uh, on a swing uh, and we've uh, we've got about 120 points profit on there, but uh, on our last position, but we're about 150 points uh, down overall. So uh, uh, that's where we are. We're we're, uh, we're seeing the way things develop now. The economic calendar is very thin uh, right the way through Wednesday, and it starts to pick up Thursday and Friday. You're looking at the GBP and uh, the USD. So. Uh, um, we're looking, we expect the uh, GBP to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, rise at some stage, but uh, the likelihood is the market will want to push, uh, the uh, market makers will want to push it down uh, to get uh, better entries and to take out early longs. So, so we're looking at um, uh, GBP, uh, USD, uh, long, uh, but we're just looking for a decent entry. Uh, the likelihood is that, uh, as I said, early longs will get punished, uh, and it looks uh, it looks uh, pretty soft at the moment. So uh, anyway, that's something to bear in mind. We'll try and update you on that uh, as things progress. So, so that's where we are. Um, initial test, uh, um, uh, worst of all worlds, really. We didn't even get the place, but. Uh, and it drifted but uh, we'll see we'll see how things go uh, and uh, we'll keep you updated so anyway thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and goodbye